You're talking about this? Yeah, yeah. these batteries. Does these it work? Yeah. Got to unscrew it. Uh, unscrew it in the back. And how much do you want for it? Three quid. Three quid. Good morning. Well, believe it or not, this rainy weather was not predicted this morning. Well, I'm off to a boot sale. How successful that's going to be, time will tell. But on top of that, I'm actually going to be meeting up with a famous Welsh reselling YouTuber. I wonder who that is. What a day you've picked for it, mate. Yeah, Look, the hell. You okay? Yeah, I feel like yeah, all right, we'll go to the indoor car boots, the, <laughs> the fun ship. Today's the only day it's not open. All oh, right. How much is your super dry? Um, I'm thinking about 15. 15 on that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's a bit out of my budget, but thanks. No, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that, what do you sell it as? <laughs> I know, I know, it's, it's a tricky one. <laughs> Everything always costs so much like in the first place. I'm like, oh, I just can't bother selling it online, but... Yeah. <laughs> don't want to sell it too cheap either. <laughs> no, it's, it's all right. Typical rainy day, innit? Oh, no. What have you got on it? 50. 50. You're talking about this? Yeah, yeah these batteries. Does it batteries? work? Yeah. Got to unscrew it. Uh, unscrew it in the back. And how much do you want for it? Three quid. Three quid. Well, I'll take that. Put it in your man bar. Yeah, hey, I see. I can sell Something. a couple of things, no one you know. Oh, right. Does you what's going on? You all right? Uh, yeah, three quid. Yeah, thank you very much. That gold, yeah, um, that fella's um, Lord, is that Lord of the Rings? Uh, yeah. He's just missing his weapons, oh, yeah. that's all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're a fiver for the two? Go on then. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fancy doing a deal on these three? Well, it's what? Ten, ten and six. What would you like to offer? Twenty quid. Go on, go for it. Yeah? Yeah. There you go. Cheers, mate. Appreciate thank it, you. thank Cheers, you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want a bag or are you alright? Alright, oh, we're alright. Yeah, yeah. No problem, darling. Thank you. I think there's a carrier bag might be in there as well in the boot. Oh. <laughs> there you go, look, I'm so sorry about that. How much are your cameras? They're not, it's not mine. Uh, oh. Just gone to move the car. Okay. Is, is this your bag? Yeah, it's alright. It's alright there, isn't it? <laughs> they bring it back. Uh, it won't be a minute, you okay. just have to move the car onto the That's road. That's alright, no problem. Thank you, darling. There he is, he's literally cleaning up the car boot sale. Hello folks, welcome to Booting with Andrew. <laughs> the weather's been a bit of a downer today, but people still here, still picking up some bargains. Let's see what he's got in here. I have got this, which may be worthless, or maybe worth 20 quid. 
Lord of the Rings. Hey, two, that's right. Five quid. We got some Doc Martens. Oh, nice. Kitty ones. Nah, yeah, still good. Over 20 quid. A couple of wax jackets. A couple of coats. Look at how much this is worth. Well. I thought that was a good deal, that. Two quid, random punts. Oh, New and sealed, innit? I'd love to. I can't find any, but maybe if I put the uh, barcode in. Let's see what you're going to get it. Nothing. Hmm. I'll have to tell a peek that one. Samsung, it's got to be worth something. There you go. That is what I mean. Andrew literally just walks up to a stall and grabs straight up. He just knows. Apart from the Lord of the Rings, that was a fail. Brilliant. <laughs> We're ready to go. We're going to do some charity shops. Yeah. Get up some breakfast. Yeah, I'm starving. How much are your trainers? They're 15. 15 these ones. You can see their new. Yeah, the brand new. Really? That's the lot, my lovely. I've just put them out now, they're nice, aren't they? Yeah, they're nice, then. What kind of books are you going for? Might be vintage sci fi. Hmm. A good read. I've literally come outside of this one because uh, it's definitely Andrew's favourite shop because he's scanning every book and he knew exactly where the DVDs and Blu-rays were so yeah insider info yeah he's definitely got a big stack of books we'll see when he comes out there he is laden with bags and books Hundred and fifty quid in books. Bargain. You get a discount. No. Yeah. Thank you. We're done at Hollywell Car Boot, and it's only a small car boot. And today, it was raining as well a lot, so that definitely affected it. But considering there was only half a dozen stalls, um, I think both me and Andrew did reasonably well. Um, then we went to some charity shops in Hollywell. As usual for me, the charity shops are a bust, but uh, Andrew did get some decent media. And now we're heading up to Denby. We actually looked at a house in Denby before we bought um, where we did in, on the coast, but we did look at Denby. Yeah, we're going up there. So I do know Denby. I'm gonna have a look at some charity shops and I'm sure it'll be a complete bust again. taking me up the biggest hill in Wales to get to one charity shop that's going to be shit. Oh, there's at least three here, you'll be fine. Pound rail, one of them. Pound rail? We'll have to go over heart attack before we get there, though. Let's see if we can find anything. Probably nothing. I'm the optimist. I'm always pessimistic about the charity shops these days. How spent, tall he is. Just spent 13 quid in the charity shop, got 150 quid worth of stock. If I go like that, it makes you look like even taller. And sexy. I'm, I'm bought in here a load of audio CD things. Still haven't sold many.
do this vintage. You just take these, please. Oh, yes, please. Well, at least the hill was worth it because I did pick up some things in a charity shop. Woo! Um, we're done now. We're done at Denby. So we've done Hollywell Car Boot, Hollywell Charity Shops, Denby Charity Shops. And uh, now I'm going to head home. And if you want to stay tuned, I'll show you everything that I picked up today. Welcome back everyone, and we're going to go through everything that I picked up today. Not huge amounts of stuff, um, small boot sale and a few charity shops. But it's still stock to go in, it's still profit to be made. Let's have a look right now. We'll start off with some of the charity shop stuff. I picked up these two um, Native American or Indian figurines. Uh, these were £4 each, as you can see there on the bottom. Uh, that one and that one. And these are made by... They're, they're like a gift company sort of thing. Elgate. What's that say? The House of Valentinas. Um, anyway, £4 paid each. Uh, there's not really much in the way of comps. There's somebody selling a bundle of three similar ones. One of them sitting two standing uh, for £50. So I'm going to try initially at £30 for each of these figurines. So £4 paid each. I'm going to try £30 each. They're in nice condition. And see where we go with those. Um, a Euro 2016 France hat. Uh, what did I pay for this? £2. So I definitely weren't going to leave it behind for £2. Official Euro 2016. And um, I can't find the exact same one on eBay. Surprise, surprise. So I'm going to shoot for £20 on the hat. And another one I was having difficulty with, because if you search these cotton traders' tops, uh, like specifically this Welsh top, you come up with hundreds, and they're all like slightly different. So it's a bit of a minefield. I couldn't find this exact same one. What I was looking for was this collar colouring, and this badge on the right chest, because I can't find that combination. Um, anyway, £2.50 paid. Uh, if I had to guess right now, I'm going to think about £25 on this top, because some of them are going for 40 that are similar. Um, some are going for a bit less, but again, struggling to find the exact same one. So uh, I'm going to have to probably just pick, pluck a number out of the air on those. Right, now most of this is car boot stuff apart from that, um, but we'll just go through everything anyway. Now, um, not massive value on this. I think it's Legolas, Legolas, whatever his name is. Um, I picked it up. I knew that he was missing his weapons, but I didn't realise how much of a detriment that would be to his value. So £2 paid on him. He's quite a big figure, but in reality, not worth huge money. So I'm not going to, I don't know what I'm going to do with him just yet. Um, what did we get here? We got a bundle of things. I did a bundle on the camera, the the rewriter disc thing and the label printer. And we did £20 for the three. So what I've done is in my accounts, I've put, I've put it down as £7, £7, £6, just to make it up to the 20. So let's start off with the camera. This is a Samsung S1065 and it seems to have all the bits and pieces in here. It's all in nice condition. 
Um, so what what did I put on that? I put thirty pound, I think, on this one. I'm going to go for thirty on the camera. Um, this I've I need to check exactly what it is, whether it's a CD rewriter or a DVD rewriter. It says CD on there, so I'm going to work on that assumption. If it turns out to be... Let, oh, let's have a look on here. Oh, there we go. Compact disc rewriter. So it's just a CD writer. Okay. So, £6 paid. Um, could be anything from 30 to £45, I think, on that. With it being CD rather than DVD, probably worth a little bit on the lower side of that. If it was DVD, I think there's some DVD ones of these for like 30, uh, 40 to £50. Pounds. So probably a little bit under that, maybe 30 to 40 for that. Assuming that I'm going to make an assumption that it's working right now before I test it. Um, this Brother label printer, um, I don't know what size labels that's for. It's the Brother... QL 570 um, worked out at seven pound. Uh, did I have 30 on it? Yeah, I think I might have put 25 or 30 pound on that. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick myself right in the middle there. Don't know if it's working, but it's no good really for what we do as resellers. It's it's not a six before label, but it's probably all right for something. I don't know what size those labels are. Anyway, let's move on. Of course, you've seen the Billy Bass. These are always good to pick up. I'm hoping it works. It needs a damn good clean-up. It is really dirty, but it doesn't look like anything major. Just cosmetic, I hope. Because if it works, you know these are worth good money, and especially if you've got one boxed. Uh, I paid £3 for this Billy Bass. I'm going to put 30 on it. Some have sold for a little bit more, some have sold for a little bit less. If you've got a boxed one, you can go 40 at least. And the last thing is this. This is absolutely awesome. I loved this um, kids' program when I was a kid. The Family Ness. can sing the theme tune right now for you. Like two blows on his back. It looks like little short stories, maybe, or something. I've not played it to see what it's like. Um, this cost me £2, was it? Yeah, £2 in the charity shop. And I'm going to put £30 on this. There's one listed at 30 with a, a little book. But other than that, there's not really any uh, anything else listed. So I'm going to go 30 myself on that and see what happens. So all in all, not loads, but what I picked up has got profit, which is important. And um, yeah, you saw what Andrew picked up. He got all sorts of stuff. He's a media seller a lot as well. So he was scanning books and Blu-rays and all sorts. And uh, yeah, I just went and had a look for other stuff. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and um, you'll be notified for future videos and, of course, future live shows. So we'll see you soon. Take care. Happy hunting. Thanks very much for watching, really appreciate it. If you wanna catch up on another one of my videos, you can try one like this or one like this. They're both good ones, uh, give it a go. Or you can subscribe by pressing this button here. There you go, see you later.